Hey folks, I am going to run you through quickly in how I use the Rodecaster Pro and record into Reaper on the PC in multi-track. I traditionally would use Adobe Audition uh, with the firmware as it is with the Rodecaster Pro. There are a few workarounds using ASIO for all uh, to make that work, but the, you have to sort of change the change it to stereo to listen back and all that. So for now, until the next firmware, I'm using Reaper to record into, and I've grown a bit addicted to it. So uh, um, less and less am I pulling those files out of there and then editing them in Audition, just using Reaper. So we'll jump onto here. That's just my website. And so I'll open Reaper. I'm going to put in the notes my template, a link to where you can use the template that I'm using. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's all got it's got all the tracks uh, all set up. So you just have to reassociate re the the input the input uh, channels so uh, there it is so I've got it I've got Reaper set up so when I open it it immediately opens up the template and then you get to choose where so I'll put it into uh, we'll start a new start a new folder saying test right and then and then you just got to um, file name so test one and save so you'll see I've already got it set up to go at 48 and all that just I've, we'll get to the point right so there it is so I find that when I start Reaper from a template you see no you see no dials there uh, hit record and then stop again and there they are so I'm just going to go select all and delete what we just recorded then. All right, so stop. Back to the beginning. All right, so running you through these at the top there, uh, the great thing about the Rodecaster Pro is it throws out the stereo, tracks one and two, it throws out the stereo into, let's have a look, let's start recording here. Uh -huh. Right, there it is, right. So it actually throws out the um, the mix down, which is all of the tracks from the, uh, as you're choosing them. See, I've got quieter in there and then louder. So that's the mi that's the mix down with the sliders involved, the onboard effects, the uh, the the big bottom and apex, all that sort of stuff, all goes into there as a stereo file. I'm finding a lot of the time. I'm just using that if there's no problems during recording. But the great thing is you'll see down below here, you'll see this track. That's the raw microphone one. So that's just my voice. No bullshit. So no... So you hear that techno music? Well, that's coming from the soundboard. And you'll see that down here. That's the... That's coming from the soundboard. That's just a continuous techno thing that I have for a different reason. Right? So you'll find that recorded separately. So my voice isn't on that track and the techno is not on that. But both of them together are on that. So if you mix properly in the first place, you're all right. The onboard SD recording in here, when I press that, that's recording the mix down. So that's identical to that top gray track that you see there, right? So that's it. I'll send you this uh, template uh, if you want it or I'll put a link somewhere and I'll, um, what I what I do if you do like to edit in another software, get Reaper. It's an evaluation thing. Pay for it. It's not that much. Or keep evaluating it for now till the till the firmware. And you just turn that techno down. And that you'll find that uh, you can just stop stop that. Grab the files out of wherever they saved them, either the stereo or all the thing, and drop and drop them into your uh, project in Audition or, or whatever the hell you use, any of them. So it's just their raw waves. So that's terrific. Thank you. That's how I use Reaper.